Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. the Bible. This is what's not being taught to our people because if we understand that, wait a minute, the reason why I have to get up and I'm angry every day, the reason why I have to get up and work is and work to the sweat of my brow, the reason why I'm treated unfairly is because I broke my father's commandments. I broke the rules. To him. I broke his rules. I broke his household rules. This is the reason why I'm going through the things that I'm going through. This is the reason why we on drugs. This is the reason why we sell drugs to one another. We kill each other. The reason, the truth is in the Bible. The reason these things are upon our people is right here in the Bible. All right, y'all with me? Our people, when you go to every city, every state, Every country, our people are at the bottom of society. So God says that his, his laws are the truth, and that's what's going to set us free, right? So why are we not free? It must be from breaking God's laws. When you say, Mike, eh? when you say that, all right, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says that this is Moses talking to the Israelites. All right? Moses told the Israelites, if you don't keep the commandments of God, curses were going to come upon you. This is the truth of the Bible. This is what's not being taught to our people. Because if we understand that, wait a minute, the reason why I have to get up and I'm angry every day, the reason why I have to get up and work and work to the sweat of my brow, the reason why I'm treated unfairly is because I broke my father's commandments. I broke the rules to him. I broke his rules. I broke his household rules. This is the reason why I'm going through the things that I'm going through. This is the reason why we on drugs. This is the reason why we sell drugs to one another. We kill each other. The reason, the truth is in the Bible. The reason these things are upon our people is right here in the Bible. All right, y'all with me? How you doing? Good. What's your nationality? Let me ask you that. What's your nationality? What you mean? What's your nationality? Look on that sign right there. What would you call yourself? So-called Black American? You too, ain't white? Y'all so-called African Americans? No. What's your What's your nationality? What would you say you are on this sign? You are Israelite. I pray the most high. You are an Israelite. So when you look at that sign on the right side, is what America is the lies that America told us. The right side are the lies that America taught us. The left side is the truth that God told us we were. Y'all understand? So the so-called white man in America told us that we was African Americans. That's a lie. God said, no, if you, were, if you call the so-called African American, you're actually a Jew. You're the real Jew. That's the truth. But how will we know that if we don't read the Bible? Because the truth is in the Bible. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What's your name? Quartavion. Quartavion? Quartavion. Quartavion. God said all these curses were going to come upon us and overtake us if we broke his commandments. If we broke God's commandments, the way that you see with us, how we living now, is going to happen to us. But if we was living righteously, we wouldn't be in the state that we in as God's people. So we out here to show y'all, look, this is what we have to do. We have to keep the commandments of God so that we can get out of the conditions that we in right now. Y'all understand? Y'all following me. All right, so that's what we come out here to do. Show our people, look, we're breaking God's commandments and we need to turn back to our Father. Exodus 20, real quick, 20 and 8. You all heard of the Sabbath day? You heard of the Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath day? They say Sunday. They say Sunday. Another lie. America 10 for 10 on lies to our people. 10 for 10. They 100% with lies. The Sabbath is Sunday. Another lie. But when you open up the Bible, which has the truth, the Bible's going to tell you that the seventh day of the week is actually Saturday. And if that's the Sabbath day, when you look at it,
the calendar. It shows you that the first day of the week starts on Sunday, which will make Saturday the what, Octavian? <laughs> what would that make Saturday if Sunday's the first day of the week? That would make Saturday the last day. That would make Saturday the last day. Great job. Now, how old are you? 13. You're 13. Okay. Uh, give me Exodus 20. You need to get that real quick. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Wow. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. The reason why the Bible had to say to, had to tell us to remember the Sabbath day is because we were going to forget it. Right, so in these last days, he's like, I need y'all to remember the Sabbath day. Why? Because it's the truth. The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. Friday night sundown to Sunday night sundown. So the Bible had to tell us to remember. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Bible, come right back, uh, uh, and the Bible had to tell us to remember the Sabbath day because they knew that the, uh, uh, the most I knew that we were going to get taken into slavery and stripped of our identity and forget. So now in these last days, he's revealing the truth of the Bible to us because the truth is in the Bible, right? Right, Mike? Right? The truth is in the Bible, right? So now when we open up and we read the truth, we see, okay, the Sabbath is actually on Saturday, so now we should keep it as such. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right, read on. In it thou shalt not do any work. So in this Sabbath day, which is Saturday, thou shalt not do any work. So it's rules, it's, it's different um, rules to, to keeping the Sabbath. Because just like you said, Mike, they tell us that the Sabbath is on Sunday. But on Sunday, the Bible just said on the Sabbath day, don't do no work. They still work on Sunday. Let's find out. Read on. Thou, nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, uh -huh. thy maid servant, uh -huh. nor thy maid servant. My brother, my brother, my brother with the backpack. Read. <laughs> nor thy cattle, uh -huh. nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So nobody in your household should be working. Nobody. Everybody should be off on a Sabbath day. If they say Sunday's a Sabbath day, nobody should be working. So that will make it important, right? Right, Robert? You agree with me, Mike? Yeah. You with me, Octavian, right? Am I saying your name right? Cortavia. 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 All right. When you agree with the Bible, we should agree with the Bible. So the Bible has the truth that our people need to get us out of the conditions that we're in. All right? Read what you got. Go this is the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the seventh, the Sabbath day. Upon the what? The Sabbath day. Uh-huh. Read it again. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So God said that kindle no fire is going into cooking. So God says that on the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to cook either. So if you couldn't cook, Cortavion, what would you do to eat on the, on the Sabbath day? No, you can't, you can't buy either. We're going to get that. Get that next, matter of fact. Nope, you can't cook, but you still got to eat. What about what you say, Mike? Say it again. I can't cook, but I got to eat. can't cook, but you got to eat. What you thinking, Robert? You thinking. I see you thinking. Say it again. Fruits and vegetables. Ding, 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 ding. My brother Robert, fruits, vegetables, a sandwich. You can't cook, but you can make a sandwich that said no fire. So you can't warm anything up or cook anything, but you can make a salad, fruits, vegetables, a sandwich. So God has specific instructions for his holy days. Y'all understand? So he's like, look, don't cook. Why? Because it's a day of rest. It's a holy day. I don't want you to do it. All right? Uh, read what you got. You got it? Yes. We don't. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which ye will bake today, mm -hmm. and seed that ye will seed, mm -hmm. and that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So this is, God is telling us how we can do it. Now, on Friday before sundown, we can cook. So God is saying, cook all that you're gonna cook and boil all that you're gonna boil the day before the Sabbath. Now. You can, you can uh, store it in the fridge or in the microwave or the oven, just store it there to the next day. Now you have something to eat if you want something that's cooked. You understand? But if not, like my brother Robert said, salads, fruits, vegetables, sandwiches, right? These are things that you could do. Y'all with me? Y'all follow me? All right, uh, read what you got. 
And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today, and seed that ye will seed. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Keep the leftovers for tomorrow. That's all it's saying. Just keep the leftovers for tomorrow because you can't cook tomorrow. Can we go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28? Because you can't cook tomorrow. So keep the leftovers for tomorrow so you don't break my Sabbath by cooking. And you still have something to eat. So the Lord, the Most High, already thought all of this stuff out for us. He's not going to tell us to do something that's out of our reach that we can't do. And it's, and it's a simple commandment like keeping the Sabbath day that we break that keeps us in the midst of sin. That keeps us uh, in the conditions that we in. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong.